Hey, what's up guys? It's Mint Nine Man here, and I'm gonna bring you guys a quick tutorial on how to set up your Elgato game capture with the PS3. So if you're one of those Xbox guys, you're trying to figure out how to set it up for the Xbox, it's kind of similar, but this is majority for the PS3. So if you're looking to set up your Elgato game capture with the PS3, this is a video for you. And it's, a, it's really quite easy. I'll go through it slow with you, and I'll go through each step slow with you, so it'll be really straightforward, so you'll understand pretty well. So, let's get started. Alright, for starters, you'll have your Elgato recording system itself in the middle, and you'll also have a multimedia cable, a uh, USB cable, and then the component cables on the bottom, you will not need for this. Those are for the headsets, which which I can cover in another video. But uh, for just for getting the video picture on the screen for the PS3, you will not need the uh, looks like red, blue, and green component splitters and, and cables because those you can hook those up with different devices. But um, what you do need though is everything else here. Any kind of HDMI cable. It came with the black HDMI cable, so you can use that as well. I have my own HDMI cable that I can use, that I am using, because I have a bigger TV and it needs to just stretch out a little more. But e everything in this picture you need. So you can use any HDMI cable you want. As long as, an HD as long as it's an HDMI cable, it will work. Alright, so the first part to this step is you'll have your Elgato Game Capture recorder itself right here. And you'll plug the multimedia cable into the AVN compartment. So it'll be just like this, and, it's j and the AVN component is right next to the HDMI in, if you guys can see that. It's right next to the HDMI in connector. After that, we will plug the USB cable. This end goes into the laptop or computer you, that you have. And you'll take, pretty long cable, you'll take this end of the USB cable and plug it in to the USB slot. So it's it, into the USB slot. So it's pretty straightforward. Okay, now that we've gotten that far, I'll head over to my TV to, uh, to do the HDMI cable part. Okay, depending on whatever HDMI cable that you own, it needs to be it needs to be plugged into the television. So this is my front end, but my back end is already plugged into the television, as you can see. It goes all the way back into the HDMI slot in, in my TV. So you need, to, you need to plug your HDMI cable into your television. So then you'll have an end sticking out like this. So this will be on the outside of the end, and your other part of the end will be connected into the television. Now. You take the HD, this end, the, the end of the HDMI cable that isn't plugged into the television. You plug that in right, sorry, right next, right next into the USB compartment. So you'll plug that right in to the HDMI out. Just like that. Pretty simple, correct? And now, now that we have done that, We'll plug the multimedia com con connector, which was plugged into the AVN compartment. We'll plug that, this part, into the PS3. I have a PS3 Slim, so you sh it should be pretty similar on all the other PS3 models, but it, sh it needs to go into the multimedia plug. So you'll have an end like this that is plugged into the AVN part, and plug that right into your PlayStation. Just like that. So now at this part in the game, you should have something ending up like this so far. With this end sticking into the PlayStation, this end sticking into the computer, and this end sticking into the TV. That's what you should have so far. And now I will stick that USB cable into my laptop myself. Just to prove to you that's what you need to do. So you plug that, plug this in, to your laptop. All right, now after you have put in, put in your USB cable from the Elgato into the computer, you will now open up the game capture software. 
And if you don't have this software ready, you, it'll be in the link in the description below. But you can find it on the Elgato webpage itself. And here is the uh, is where the, the magic will be happening in all essence. You have your your live streaming recording recording button all the way down there. You press that to record. The red button, big red button. Really obviously red and big. Also, make sure to go into your settings. You can select all your output settings. You can have it standard or expanded. I usually have mine in standard. Expanded sometimes will look a little funny. And one of the most important parts is make sure that you choose the PlayStation 3 for the input device. Alright, now that we have done all that, let's turn on the PlayStation. But before you do that, there's an important step that you have to remember. Turn on the television. Make sure your TV settings is set to the HDMI setting. And once you are finished with that, turn on the PlayStation, but hold the PlayStation power button in for an extra second. It'll beep again, what you just did, and that resets the, um, just the, uh, the, the display settings. So it will kind of look like crap once it turns on here in a second. All right, now that the PlayStation 3 is on, scroll over to settings, then go to display settings, because this will make the Elgato capture your gameplay in a beautiful, you know, beautiful, the beautiful HD color it needs to be in. So that's what this, that's what we're doing now. You want to adjust your video output settings, go to component slide of D terminal, and say change. And then you'll say, it'll say, do you want to accept this setting? And then you'll say yes. Check 480p, 720p, 1080i. That's the highest that the Elgato can um, film in. Because that's the word for it. <laughs> and you wait for it to change. It'll say, can you read this screen? Select yes if you can. And you say yes, because obviously you can read it if you're not a blind bat. And you finish. And now you have the HDMI Elgato game capture working to your to its full stability at 1080i. And once you're ready to record anything that is on your PlayStation, all you need to do is press the big red record button and whenever you're finished recording something and you say and you're like okay I'm done now you can press it'll be an orange button at that moment and you can press the orange and you press the orange big red bu big button and it'll turn back to red to start recording again it'll automatically go into a destination of your choice that you choose and I know this looks trippy but this was, I was recording my uh, computer screen and it was just really weird. I'm still working with that. If I can get that to work somewhat well, I'll do a video on how to set up the Elgato game capture with the um, piece with the computer. And you can set wherever you want your videos to be saved. See, right now, this is where it's being saved. I can either reset or change it. So if I want to change it, I go right here. This is where uh, this is this is where my my videos are and I can just say okay I want a new folder name it whatever maybe new videos enter and then this is the folder that I want my stuff in I say select folder and that's the folder that all my videos will go into so it's really quite simple I hope you guys I hope this video was helpful to you guys, and if it did, please drop a like. Make sure to comment if you have any questions whatsoever. I'm here to help, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always around. I'm always watching. I'm always watching what you're doing. Ooh. But if you guys need any help at all, please comment. Make sure to leave a like on the video, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It would really help me out, and I will talk to you guys later.
Peace.